This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World, with a peek into some of the exciting things happening in photonics. Hundreds of thousands of black-footed ferrets once roamed the plains of Central North America. But by the late 1970s, they were on the brink of extinction. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service captive breeding program saved them, but they've remained endangered ever since, thanks in large part to the Sylvatic Plague, a bacteria carried by fleas that then infect ferrets and their main source of food, prairie dogs. Now, a partnership between Teledyne FLIR and the World Wildlife Fund aims to help them flourish once again. Using the company's OEM thermal imaging cameras, one that's tower mounted and one attached to a drone, biologists have been tracking these nocturnal and very elusive mammals in the vast Fort Belknap Indian Reservation, where one of just 14 black-footed ferret populations exist. The drone camera sweeps sizable areas throughout the plains, while the tower camera offers significant image clarity as far away as 200 meters. Once the ferrets are found, Biologists can safely capture them to administer vaccinations and insert tracking chips before returning them to their burrows. The black-footed ferret population in the wild currently stands at about 300. Biologists hope to eventually boost that number back up into the thousands. When treating diseases like cancer, a one-size-fits-all approach doesn't really work. It can take time to establish the best treatment plan, especially when it comes to medications. But what if doctors could get right to it with total control from the very start? Well, researchers at the Spanish National Research Council Institute for Advanced Chemistry of Catalonia are working to do just that using pharmacology, which is essentially drugs or photosensitive molecules controlled by light. This emerging approach also regulates the drug's biological activity. The researchers' work involves a cage design in which a known drug is modified to incorporate a functional group that renders it inactive. The active drug is released when illuminated in an irreversible process. A photo switching design is used as well, which also modifies a known drug to incorporate a functional group but changes the configuration illuminated in a reversible manner. This second design can switch the biological activity of the drugs on and off. The researchers say such control could aid more personalized treatment and ultimately make medications safer and more effective. Existing LiDAR systems, such as flash LiDAR, have some critical limitations. Among them, an inability to measure distances of dark vehicles and other poorly reflective objects. And because lenses, diffractive optics, and other external elements are needed to acquire the flash beam, they're large and bulky. A new dually modulated photonic crystal surface emitting laser, or DM pixel, could overcome those drawbacks. Developed by researchers at Coyote University in Japan, the new chip based light source combines scanning LiDAR with flash LiDAR to create a miniaturized 3D LiDAR system. Now, the team can measure the distances of numerous objects simultaneously by wide flash illumination. The new system also allows them to selectively illuminate poorly reflective objects as well as those that are highly reflective with a more concentrated light beam. The DM pixel-based LiDAR system is a new concept of non-mechanical 3D LiDAR that could help usher in a new smart mobility era of the autonomous motion of robots and vehicles. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. Until next time.